Hello people, welcome to It's Murder. Today's case takes us to Northwest London, NW1. Boasting impressive parks, cultural landmarks, historic properties, and multiple gang wars. On the 12th of August 2019. Just after 11pm, Alex Smith, just 16 years old, would take his last breath, alone slumped on a doorstep. In 2019 knife crime deaths had increased by 50%, compared to previous years, with a massive 149 murders recorded in London alone. Jaden Moody was one of the first and the youngest that year to lose his life. I have covered this case, I will drop a link in the description, go check it out. There are over 3,000 individual postcodes in North London and over 80 gangs operating within them, among these are the Active Gang, who are from the Agar Grove area of NW1 and the Combo Gang who are based around Cumberland Market and the Regent's Park areas of NW1. The war between the two gangs has been ongoing since 2017. In earlier years, like any child Alex had dreams and aspirations. He was a massive fan of Arsenal and had hopes of becoming a professional footballer someday himself. He grew up in Islington but moved to Wembley not long before his death. It was alleged that Alex played for Southampton Youth FC but the club confirmed this to be untrue and said that he could have possibly attended trials at the London Development Centre. A friend of his who claimed to have known Alex since he was six years old had said they played for Southampton FC, but Alex had not managed to secure a contract so stopped playing football. It is the friend's opinion that things started to go downhill for Alex after this. It would be around 14, 15 years old that Alex would begin to tread darker paths. Having been excluded from school at this point and failing to make the grade at the football trials. He started to become involved with the streets. At this point he was still living in Islington where he grew up. It wouldn't take long before he started putting in work and no doubt engaging in various types of criminal activity. In May 2018 Alex was stabbed on Ambler Road not far from Finsbury Park. He would then be stabbed a second time on Byworth Walk a year later. It was at some point after this he would relocate with his family to Wembley. It was his family's hope to steer him away from gang life. However, his move to Wembley would lead to his affiliation with the Combo Gang. On the 29th of January 2019, Nedim, Neds, Bilgin was stabbed to death riding his bike on Caledonian Road. I think he was a member of the Cowley Boys Gang. Although three teens were arrested no one was ever charged with the murder. However, the word on the street alleges that culprit, aka Alex Smith was the perpetrator. Of course, there is no evidence of this, it is simply the word on the street. Alex would allegedly continue to be an active member of his gang. It is said that a few nights before his murder he had fired shots at suspect aka Tariq Montero and S. Wavy aka Siad Muhammad, both members of the active gang. On the 12th of August 2019 Alex went out to eat at Nando's on Bolsover Street with three of his friends. Naraman Omid, Mohamed Chowdhury and Guy Stone Henriette. At around 10.30pm Alex and his three friends left the restaurant via the Bolsover Street exit. At some point they would see and be seen by members of an opposing gang and begin to run. The opposing gang being the active gang were out looking for blood, likely in retaliation for the recent shooting that had happened, plus a previous attack of one of the present gang members. Six members drove two stolen cars, a Fiesta and a Seat Leon. Once they had spotted their target the hunt began. Alex and his friends ran to Euston Street to try and hide in a nearby estate. It is believed they were spotted again, and the chase continued. Just after 11pm the two stolen cars pulled up in Longford Street. Three of the six gang members would exit the vehicles and run into a nearby block looking for the opposition. It wouldn't take long before Alex was spotted again. The three young men chased him to Munster Square, Alex began to bang on doors begging for his life. Unfortunately, people were too scared to react. Moments later he was stabbed and left to die on somebody's doorway step. All six gang members made their escape in the two stolen cars. Police, ambulance and air ambulance arrived shortly after. Unfortunately though, Alex would be pronounced dead at the scene just after 11.30pm. Witnesses describe how they heard the three young men screaming and laughing before the attack. Other witnesses describe Alex screaming help me, help me, help me before collapsing on the doorstep. Police began their investigations with CCTV, they would quickly find the two stolen cars burnt out in two different locations in the Kilburn area. 
Although the media states otherwise, from a court document I learned that the police identified all six of the active gang members. They identified that Arif, A.R., Biomi, 19, was the driver of the seat Leon with Yasin Abdi in the passenger and Abdir Aham Ibrahim in the back. In the Fiesta driving was Syed, S.Y., Saliban, passenger, Tariq, suspect, Montero, 19, and Syad, Swavy, Muhammad, in the back. Unfortunately though, Yasin Abdi, Tariq Montero and Syad Muhammad and Syed Saliban would flee the country. On 14 August 2019 Abdir Aham Ibrahim was arrested in Southampton, after he failed to leave the country due to a damaged passport. He would be questioned and then moved to a psychiatric unit where he would be treated for a drug-induced psychosis. On 18 August, Arif Biomi who was 19 at the time would be arrested at an address in Wembley. On 19 August, Yusuf Yusuf another member of the active gang but wasn't in the car at the time of the murder, was also arrested. Biomi would be charged with the murder of Alex Smith, and Yusuf Yusuf would be charged with assisting an offender, plus a few other charges that would later be dropped. Both would be remanded into custody to await trial at the Inner London Crown Court early 2020. In the meantime, police would continue their search for the other four perpetrators who are thought to have fled to South Africa. February 2020. Arif Biomi and Yusuf Yusuf's trial begins. The court was told how the active and the combo gangs had been in dispute for the last few years. A list of violent incidents that dated back to 2017 was read out in court as part of the agreed facts which involved stabbings, shootings, and four murders including that of Nedim Bilgin. One of the more recent acts of violence occurred on 19 May 2019 when occupants of a stolen black Audi attacked another car, inside of which was Arif Biomi. He was stabbed in the chest and abdomen, nearly losing his life. The Audi was recovered by the police and forensics discovered Mohamed Chowdhury and Roman Omid's, Naraman Omid's brother, fingerprints in the car, both are known to be combo associates. The prosecution would say this was the reason for the attack and murder of Alex on that deadly night. The court also heard how the two stolen cars left Conway Mews together just before 11pm. They drove to No. 8 Longford Street, a block associated with the combo gang. Montero, got out of the fiesta followed by Muhammad. Biomi maneuvers the Seat and Abdi gets out and joins the other two on foot. Soon after, the chase begins. Tariq Montero is carrying a knife the size of a small sword. As Alex is running, knocking on doors begging for help, the three gang members catch up to him. Abdi and Muhammad hold Alex while Montero stabs him twice, once so hard the blade came out his back, killing him. Although CCTV shows Biomi never left the car during the attack, prosecution says he is just as much responsible for Alex's death giving him joint responsibility. Yusuf Yusuf pled guilty to assisting an offender, he set alight the sea at Leon. On 25 February 2020, Arif Biomi was found guilty of murder. On 12 March he was sentenced to 21 years in jail, Yusuf was sentenced to 2 years and 10 months for assisting an offender. On 12 March 2020 Abdir Aham Ibrahim was taken back into questioning following his release from the psychiatric unit. He would subsequently be charged with the murder of Alex Smith. Like Biomi Ibrahim never left the car on the evening the attack took place. In a police interview Ibrahim stated that he wasn't in a gang and wasn't aware of Biomi's connection to the active gang or their dispute with the combo gang. He stated that he had been offered £1,000 to sell drugs in Southampton, which is what he was doing during the day on 12 August, along with Biomi in the sea at Lyon. By the time they arrived back in London to Montero's house he was tired from drug consumption and selling them. He claimed to have fell asleep in the back, passenger side and does not remember seeing a third person in the car. He said at some point he remembers the car driving around and stopping and people running around, but he did not move from the position he was slumped in. Later Ibrahim claimed he was pressured into buying petrol from some Somali boys whom he did not know. He claims to have not known what this was for and denies setting alight any cars. On 29 March 2020 Abdir Aham Ibrahim was found guilty of murder and assisting an offender. He was also given a life sentence which he would appeal in November that year unsuccessfully. It would be the beginning of 2022 when Tariq Montero and Syed Muhammad's whereabouts became known to the police. Both Montero and Muhammad had made a name for themselves on the UK drill scene as suspect and swavy, rapping about the crimes and murders they have committed. With some songs reaching over a million views on YouTube and even doing collaborations with the likes of Losky and Fredo. On or around 26 January 2022, Montero and Muhammad were arrested and detained in Nairobi, Kenya. Before they were extradited back to the UK Montero's wife, Halima, 
whom he also has a son with and Muhammad's sister raised concerns about their mortality. Here's what they had to say. It's been 35 hours, we've had no proof of life. We don't know if he's alive. We have been refused to see him. He has been refused lawyers. They have denied having him. We just want to know if he's alive. We just need proof of life. It's been a rough moment for us, we really need to see them. We want to see them because we are really concerned. These concerns arose after bodies of young black males were discovered on a beach. However, on 31 January 2022 both Montero and Mohammed would arrive back on British soil. They would both make brief appearances at Magistrate and Crown Court. Both would be remanded to prison until their trial begins in March 2023. Thank you for joining me today. If you enjoyed your stay please consider hitting like and don't forget to subscribe. I'll meet you at the next episode.